Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Salanki and today we'll be talking about all the things that you would require in your college. Now, I remember when I was in your place, I used to watch all these YouTube videos just to list down each and everything. So instead, today I'll be listing down all the important things that you cannot miss before going to the college in one single video itself. Also, I will be summarizing all these things in an Excel sheet which will be linked in the description box of this video. So you can go check it out as well. Before looking at the items, let's first talk about how to find these products at their lowest price. If you are buying a product, make sure that you visit pricehistory.in. This website basically tracks all the products, be it from Flipkart, Amazon, Snapdeal, Mintra and many more. So before you buy something, check whether it is selling at its lowest price or not. Now there would be majorly two categories of students watching this video. Those who would be staying at a hostel and those who wouldn't. Don't worry guys, I will be going over all the items. So watch this video till the end to get a one-stop solution for all the items that you would require in your college. Now let's go over the list. The first part is the digital products. Digital products are something that everyone needs once they get into a college. Even in that, buying a new laptop or a new smartphone is something that everyone goes for. So during my time, I had the option of spending more on either of these. Basically, it meant that if I bought an expensive laptop, then I would get an average phone and vice versa. If you are in such a dilemma as well, then always go for buying a good laptop. Trust me, if you are an engineering student, then this advice will help you a lot. The smartphone can wait for a while. The reason why I'm focusing more on a good laptop is because you'll be spending most of your college life using one. And in such a case, you don't want your laptop to keep lagging or get overheated every now and then. So I personally went with this Lenovo IdeaPad series and I've had some modifications over here. So yeah, I went with the Lenovo IdeaPad series and all the products will be linked in the description box below so you can check it out as well. By the way, uh, this costed me around 50,000 rupees. Uh, I think its costs have gone down so you can check it out as well. As for the smartphone, I went with the Samsung Galaxy's A10 series. If I had to recommend a smartphone to you guys right now, then I would definitely choose one from the Samsung Galaxy's M series. Uh, it has some amazing budget smartphones as well. Now let's talk about the accessories part, uh, especially for the laptop, we have the cooling pad. Now I got this cooling pad for around 1000 rupees from Amazon and you will require this cooling pad especially if you are a pro gamer or someone who records and edits videos on his laptop and you have a budget of let's say 40 to 50,000 only. Apart from this, also buy a power bank. Many a times there are electricity cuts and it becomes extremely difficult to keep your phone charged during such times. A power bank will definitely help you throughout your college life. Now there are some other accessories as well like earphones or headphones, whatever you prefer, as well as a scientific calculator if you're an engineering student. Now apart from this, let's talk about the dressing part. In the dressing part, spend only on these three categories, the formals, party wear and casuals. For the formals, make sure that you have at least one formal attire that you can wear during your presentations or any other event. Trust me, you will have a lot of presentations once you are in the college. Now I'm not telling you to spend all your shopping allowance on just formals, but have one pair at least and that would be enough. Next up, we have party wear and in college, you will have a lot of opportunities to party your heart out. It all starts with the freshers event and no, I'm not talking about the official one. I'm talking about the unofficial freshers, which will be conducted by your seniors most probably. Now it's on you if you want to attend such events or not, but I would definitely recommend you to have a couple of party wears at least. Next up, we have casuals and most of your shopping budget should be spent on casuals itself. So go for any kind of t-shirts or shirts that you are comfortable in according to your preference. I personally don't like shirts as much because they get crumpled quite easily and I have to spend a lot of time ironing them. But yeah, it totally depends on your preference and just make sure that whatever you're buying, you're comfortable wearing it. And as for the pants, don't go with anything fancy, rather just buy jeans and trousers. Now let's talk about the study material. 
As for the study material, you don't need anything more than this. This literally is my first year's engineering book and it has all the subjects in it. Maybe if you're the studious type, then you can go with the five subject notebook, but anything more than that is not required at all. Yeah, you don't require different notebooks for different subjects. But the most important thing is the document folder and this is my first year's document folder and it has all the documents, um, first year's study material and assignments and everything. Most of the notes that you will be receiving will be in digital format. So you will be continuously taking out printouts and stacking them up. Instead, to keep it all organized, you can use a document folder. Now, apart from this, let's talk about the general accessories. You don't have to spend a lot of money on this part, but I'm including it because I don't want to miss any of the items. The major things in accessories would be the wallets, watches and bags. For the wallets and watches, I don't think I have much to speak on, but as for the bags, please do not use those coaching classes bags. Now, I'm not against any coaching classes or anything, but I'm just saying it because it doesn't look good. What I'm talking about are the bags which have some kind of branding associated with it. Please keep those bags for something else and buy a new bag or use a bag which does not have such kind of branding. Apart from this, you would also be needing a luggage bag and a duffel or a trekking bag. The luggage bag is obviously for long distance travels, whereas the duffel or the trekking bag would be used for short distance travels. They can be used for any local travels or local sightseeing with your friends. Now the last category of items, but the most important one I'd say is the grooming. For that, buy a trimmer or a shaving box, whatever you prefer. Now when it comes to trimmers, I'm a huge fan of Philips. Now I bought this Philips trimmer for 700 bucks but it discharges pretty quickly. So then I upgraded to another trimmer, which was again Philips trimmer. This trimmer has quite a long battery life and I think it costed me around 2000 rupees or so. Apart from all these things, there would be some essentials that you would be needing. Everything right from soap, shampoo to even an electric kettle. I don't think I have to talk much about it, but you can definitely buy these things once you're in the hostel. Don't buy these things right from your home because it would add up to your luggage. Keep your luggage as light as possible and don't buy anything expensive for your college as well. Also, a very important thing is buy logs. Remember to buy them for your luggage because if you don't, then your things won't even last a day in your hostel, especially the boys hostel. So it's always better to not take anything expensive or anything that would break in your hostel. And yeah, if I missed anything in this video, then do write them in the comment section below and I'll be updating my Excel sheet as well. So that's it for the video. And as I said in the last video that I'll be making a roadmap and how you can start with coding. But as for the next video, I'm thinking more of a general topic based on how you can start your college with a bang and how you can create that amazing first impression. So to get updated whenever I post these videos, do subscribe and press the bell icon. Also, if you like this video, then do press the like button and share it with your friends. It really helps me grow a lot.